Welcome back to Central News. The purpose-built and fully certified rifle range was finally opened on Sunday at Teked All Terrain Park just south of Tauranga. Janine Forlong was there for the official ceremony. Well, it was way back in the mid-1990s when the idea of a rifle range park was first floated within the Deer Stalkers Association of New Zealand. And we're here today to witness the opening of this incredible initiative. The physical works actually started here in December 2010 and uh, as you can see we've finally got the range certified in January of this year, obviously 2012. Um, the council actually bought the land, or joint councils bought the land in about 2005, um, so it's been a bit of a build up and planning and consent and that sort of thing before we could actually um, start doing the initial earthworks, but it's been quite a big effort, or a big push over the last year or so. Um, and although there's still work to do, at least we've now got the range to a point where it's operational. A big, uh, I suppose you say, um, input from the membership. Some of the members have uh, donated a lot of their own, uh, not only man hours or, and volunteer labour, but machine time as well. Some of the club members are earth moving contractors and they've either given us a huge discount on some of their rates or in some cases um, just straight out donation. Um, some of the other local building firms, Carters and uh, also Steel and Tube at the Mount have been fairly generous with the discounts um, for materials and uh, yeah I mean it's it's kind of hard, you don't really want to start naming too many people because you always miss someone but but, uh, but no we really appreciate all the sponsors and uh, people that have helped out to date. To the whole district it's really is a benefit, I mean there hasn't been a certified public type rifle range here for about 13 years um, and when you don't provide for a certain activity like the sighting in of hunting rifles you sort of force people to compromise or improvise in other areas like um, setting up an impromptu rifle range on the back of someone's farm or um, in some cases forestry or even dockland and uh, a lot of cases you know, that sort of activity is not really, if it's not certified, it's not necessarily a safe place to do it. So what we've got here is the public now has the opportunity to shoot and sight their rifles in on a certified purpose-built rifle range, uh, which has actually been uh, certified by a nationally qualified, actually internationally qualified range certifier, uh, Tony Loughnan from uh, Napier, who was actually the same guy who certified the uh, rifle ranges for the Commonwealth Games in India a few years ago, so it's been a, yeah, quite a lot of input from you know, the best in the business. NZDA, um, is, apart from hunting, does have a, uh, a quite a following of target rifle shooting. Um, it's usually at the shorter distances, you know, 100 and 200 metres. Um, obviously the range we've got here actually goes to 300 metres, which is even better. Um, means that it will also be able to cater for National Rifle Association type uh, matches as well. Um, you know, NZDA's main focus is hunting but um, also firearms training and safety in conjunction with the Mountain Safety Council. This rifle range is just the first of many. The New Zealand Deer Stalkers Association has plans for at least two or more ranges over the next 10 years. Uh, we've actually got an application with the council at the moment to build a, another rifle range just to the south of here. It's just a 100 metre rifle range. Um, that'll act as a backup to this range, um, mainly for the sighting in of hunting rifles, but that one will also cater for shooting of black powder rifles and probably also uh, for training purposes for the local police. Um, that's um, Hopefully we're going to try and do that later this year. As I said, the application's in with council now. Uh, in the future, there's also plans for a 900 metre range and a 450 metre range. But both those two ranges are subject to cutting rights or harvest rights on the pine trees and they don't come up till about 2023. So, so a little, little way off. <laughs> the predictions, what we've got, we want to build a New Zealand class um, rifle training centre closed in as well, 100 metres. Um, so, you know, we have got a lot of future plans as well. But there's been a lot of hard work on them here. It's taken a long time. We've been to several places before this opportunity came. 
Yeah, so we're, we're very excited. Rifle ranges in general have a history of difficulties because of noise and safety and the controversy that surrounds that. The Bay of Plenty Council created a brand new zone to make sure this range has a long and secure future. When I went to council in 1998, this shooting group were then already had been looking for several years for land and um, then Mayor Maureen Anderson um, was supportive and I was the chairman of the Parks and Reserves Committee which was targeted with it. We looked at about four, seriously looked at about four different pieces of land and it became very obvious that the only chance of success was to go out as far as possible where you were dealing with as few neighbours and possible um, opposition. We first started with 1,380 hectares and then we added another area and we now have 1,690 hectares. And if you're like me, you convert it to acres, that's just on 4,000 acres we have here. So it's an incredible base to start something going forward for the next 25 or 30 years in that active sports participation. And I think right now our user group number is about 53 and it's still climbing. This range provides a safe and secure environment for all to enjoy. Well obviously we're um, glad to have had uh, the attendance of both the mayors and some of the um, councillors from both the councils. Uh, also very glad that um, local Kamatua Kororanui could join us here today and we appreciate the support from him and also Ngāti Ruhi who are the local iwi here. Um, other than that we're just really glad to have been able to provide a opportunity uh, for people to come and see um, what a proactive club can do when they uh, put their shoulder to the wheel and um, yeah and we certainly hope for uh, the support of the councillors um, in our application and uh, the future work that we want to do here on site. The flag was raised and the inaugural shoot went off without a hitch. The Rifle Range Park is now open for business. More than 1,200 man-hours later, the New Zealand Deer Stalkers Association, Bay of Plenty and their volunteer team have something worth celebrating. Generations to come will appreciate the immense effort. For more information, go to the website techtoallterrainpark.co.nz. Well, after the break, Janine talks to Brandon Stone, the Whale Walker.